what's going on everyone welcome back to the channel uh, we are here in the ss this is the last and final drive in the ss and i am absolutely upset with it um i really don't want to let it go uh this car is going to bring tears to my eyes just these the only car that has ever done that um so this will be the last drive before the new owner picks it up he will be here tomorrow about 6 30 p.m when i get home from work and he takes ownership of the vehicle this is a very 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 sad day i just got done cleaning it off putting a little bit of gas in it and uh yeah here we go enjoy the last video of the ss Again, I am going to miss this car so very much. This has been the best car I've ever, ever, ever owned. Yes, the check engine light is on due to the catalytic converters. Um, I have Cook's headers on here with OEM style cats. So the light is on because I never got it tuned. And we still have the Z01 steering wheel with the SS badging. Good God, I'm gonna miss this car. So I've always wanted one of these cars and I finally had it. I did not think that I would be giving this up so soon. Um, to be honest, I really, really, really want to keep this car. And if I could find a way to do it right now, I would. Um, if I could get a loan for 10 grand to keep this car, I would keep it. But uh, it's it's got to go, unfortunately, because a loan for 10 grand is hard to find. Um, so just being honest. but. This really does suck. Um, this car has been an absolute favorite um, as far as drivability. Um, an everyday driver has been amazing. Um, I actually like driving this vehicle more than I do like driving the Mustangs that I've ever had. And that says a lot. Um, I mean, props to Holden and GM from building this car together and and making it the way it is. It's is. It's been one of my all-time absolute favorite cars ever. Um, I hope to own another one in the future. And, uh, and like I said, I do not want to get rid of this car, but I have to, unfortunately. I've already bought my replacement, and that is that 22 F-150 XL. So we are going to enjoy this ride back from the car wash and wait for the new owner to take delivery of this wonderful 2016 Chevy SS, um, also known as the Holden Commodore. Um, everyone say, oh, it's just a car. Oh, your, your line is not your favorite. No, <laughs> this is, has, is and has been my favorite vehicle I've ever owned. Um, I'm gonna love doing the new stuff that I'm doing now to the F-150. Uh, but it's not going to be an SS, and it's not going to be the same. So we're going to enjoy the last few minutes of this ride until I get home um, and put this away for the day of delivery, I guess, it is if you want to call it. Um, so let me enjoy this last few moments of this ride that I have until I park it until the owner does pick up his new to him. 2016 Chevy SS. All right, so we are back home with the SS. Unfortunately, we've got to give it up. Like I said, um, I'm not looking forward to this whatsoever. Um, I just did the last driving that I could in this vehicle. It's going to sit right here until the owner takes ownership of this and for the tears to start dropping down. This is a sad, sad, sad day, guys. Um, I, do, 
I don't get attached really to cars, but this one, this one I've been attached to. And if there was a way I could keep it right now, I'd keep it. But I don't think there is. So this is the replacement vehicle of the Chevy SS. This is a 2022, guys. This is an F-150 XL work truck that I have been slowly, slowly doing some changes on. As you guys know, we've got the stubby antenna. Um, and we will be lowering this very soon. Uh, I'm not sure if we're going to put it on 20s or 22s. More than likely 22s. This is in carbonized gray. This is an FX4 package I removed the decals in the back but i do have to say after owning a gray mustang having a carbonized gray i mean look at this every time the sun hits it you can just see that metallic flake popping once we get the black front bumper and rear bumper paint to match it's going to look so much better i'm not sure if we're going to go with the black grill and leave it the way it is or if we're going to do with the paint to match as well Definitely doing the LED headlights, fog lights, and tail lights. These halogens have got to go. They are just absolutely ugly. I cannot believe Ford did this. They should have made the LEDs on every vehicle, regardless, work truck, XLT, whatever. Doesn't matter. They should have been LED front and rear for every F-150 that they offer. All right, guys. So we're going to just go ahead and head back inside, wait for the new owner to show up. Ugh. Why do we do this? Why, as car people, do we have to love cars so much that we go through so many? I mean, I've owned at least 20, 30 cars in the past six years. Why do I do this? I don't get it. It's it's a passion. It's, it's love for vehicles that I love so much, and I can't help it. It's an addiction, I guess. If I can own every single one still and have them all at the same time, I would. Trust me, guys, I would. Anyways, until then, we're going to go chill, wait for the new owner to show up, and we'll be back. Stay tuned. All right, everybody, so the new owner will be here in about 10 minutes. Pick up his new-to-him 16 Chevy SS. We did go wash it up for him. Um, still a little dirty because the pollen here uh, but it is all washed up so jesse i really hope you enjoy your chevy ss have fun on the way home be safe for sure enjoy this new car that you just got um there's the ls3 badge i was telling you about oh god oh i should be keeping this car i should be keeping this car what am I doing? What am I doing? What am I doing? What am I doing? Ugh. I need to stop. I need to stop doing this. But I'm hoping with some stuff that will be showing up here soon that this will look so much better. I'm so hoping this is going to be a huge improvement of what we're going to be doing next to this truck. I'm show the new owner taking possession and driving away. Saying bye to the SS. There it goes. 